What's up, everybody? The Undisputed Man here with a new video right before I get this video started. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. And also, don't forget to, don't forget to click on that notification bell so you can be alert when I upload a new video. So, that t so today I want to talk about uh, a video that went viral um, for the past couple days. And it's about a woman who finessed a guy over a $600 date. He took this woman out. She claimed that he begged her during the video. During the video, she claimed that she that he begged her for to, to to go out with him on a date. She went out on a date with him. Now I remember this girl. I don't think this is legit because I remember this girl. This is the girl that that was part of that All Star Weekend video where the guy confronted confronted her about um, going to All Star Weekend. She was lying about going to see her aunt and stuff like that. And I seen the also I also seen another video of almost the same thing as this video about the date being split or whatever like that. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna play the video, I'm gonna let the, play, the video play out in full, and I'm gonna give my thoughts on the video. Um, let me get rid of this ad, this this crap is annoying. Okay, so let's get the video started. Man, that place was bomb. Hey, hey yep, I, I, so yep I, I valeted over here. Okay, thank you so much for the food. What, why you giving me a hug? Oh, I'm just, uh, I valeted over here though. Yeah, yeah, come on. We okay, yeah, I, I parked up here. In, oh, I already called me an Uber. You don't have to take. You don't have what? to give me a ride. What do you mean you called you a Uber? Yeah, you don't have to give me a ride. I, have, um, I already called myself an Uber. Well, Thank you. Yeah, I mean, you, you, you ain't out. coming. You ain't coming. You ain't coming with me. Why would you? My crib. I uh, I don't know. Your crib. I didn't know we were supposed to go. I mean, I I didn't either until you ordered that that six hundred dollar meal. What? What? What do you mean? What I mean, mean, what, what you ordered? Me you don't, you don't understand that big yeah. old steak you just ordered. Yeah. And we didn't even get to see the salt bay, dude. So. So I'm saying, like, what? Wait, 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 wait. wait so I you're you really trying to good, leave me? You, you had, I thought you had a good time overall. I, I did have. A, I had a great time. I we that wasn't the thing. Too, but we didn't like. That ain't the thing. You gotta hear me out. That ain't the thing. I'm saying, like, I, I just wanted to come. I know, dude, from social media. So I thought we was gonna come and, you know, I was gonna try a couple appetizers and stuff. But after you ordered the steak. I figured you was really into me, if you know what I'm saying. Um, no, well, we're at this place where they have nah, man, these you don't amazing, get it, man. They have you these don't amazing get it. steaks. I mean, Why who do you, you think me I am, Big Meech? You think I'm Big Meech? Do you well, know? Would you bring me here then? What do you mean? You recommended this. Why would I bring? Why would you bring me here? I said I wanted to go on a date. We could have walked around, hold hands on South Beach or something. You know what I'm saying? I could have got you a rose or something, some simple. Don't make me feel bad about. My no, mouth. no, no, no. Make me feel bad. How am I making you feel bad? Because I'm just you're, saying. You're maybe saying we can go get I some boo. I'm not trying to like well, saying that saying, you should come to my house, but I'm, I mean, I'm you could come to my house. I'm just saying. I ain't saying come to my house. I just thought we was kicking done. it after that, not just this this hour, and and then we done. Oh my God! Time. You oh, you know what? You're you know time, what? I got this. Let let let's figure this out right now. My you know what I'm saying? Time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Come here, come here. Let's figure this out. Hey, how about this? Okay, so I I, I left the tip. So check this out. You give me two hundred and fifty. Look at we gonna make this real easy. I'll Wait, unfollow what? you. I'll unfollow you on Instagram. You give me two hundred and fifty, and I'll act like this never happened. Yeah, this is just half of your. This not even. This is way oh more. That's actually way less than what I actually want from it. Dude, I really want like five. You've been begging me to go on a date with you I for know. three months. I know, and you I understand? just, I literally just you regretted it. Who? I literally you just regretted who? it. Just told you, you oh my you gosh, to go on a date with you. Do you understand? Do you, you think that's gonna? Do you see what right. this is right now? You know what? It's, it I'm going. Yo, no, get say, get get out of here. You honey. ordered the most expensive steak. You better get your bro. All right, I'm gone. Okay, so I don't know if y'all heard that video, but apparently this guy took this girl out on a second all day. Now, as I said from the beginning of the video, I think this is a skit because I remember seeing this girl before on the All Star Weekend video that went viral as well, and then it was another video I ran into on World Star. Of, of almost the same thing as this video. But th even if this is a skit, this is what's happening all the time. Men taking women out on dates. These women don't want to put out. These women don't want to go home with the guy. I'm not necessarily saying that a woman's supposed to put out on the first date. 
it's not obligated to put out on the first date. But if a guy is taking you out to an expensive dinner, which we tell men not to do, don't t- take women out to expensive $600 dates. Take her out for coffee on the first date. Say, hey, let's meet up at Starbucks at 6 p.m. on a Saturday or a weekday if you have time. Let's walk around for a little bit. Let's get to know each other more. Let's vibe. Let's see what type of connection that we have. This guy, she claimed in the video that, that, he, that, that he begged her to go on a date with him. You never beg a woman to go out with you. If she's not willing to go out with you right away, she's a waste of time. Get rid of her. and follow her on social media. Get rid of her number, etc. But this is what's happening all the time. I know this is a, like, I have a feeling this is a skit because I remember seeing this woman before. But this is what's happening all the time with men getting finessed. We tell men, don't go on dates with women. Always go for coffee and a walk in the park. Second date, as Coach Drake Adams uh, um, prefers or recommends, is that men go out to miniature golf on the second date. You can vibe um, miniature go- doing miniature golf together. And then the third date, if she proves herself and if she's feminine, corroborative, and submissive, and she brings more to your life than just a used up peace leave that other men got for free, and then she's trying to make you pay for it, if she's proving herself as a woman and what else she brings to the table besides just sex, then you could take her out on an official date. I still wouldn't recommend spending $600. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care if you have a million dollars in your pocket. Some people say, well, if I have it, I don't mind it. No, I don't care if you walk around with $6 million in your pocket. No woman is worth $600 on a date, whether that's the disposable money or whatever. She's still not worthy of that $600 date unless she proves herself fully. And this is the problem. This is the problem with a lot of men. They take women out to expensive dinners. They don't deserve it. And then they get mad when that $600 is spent or that $300 or that $250 or that $150 date is spent. And now this woman is, is, is finessing you. She's already She already finessed you the second you, you said you're going to take her on a date. She already had in her mind that she was going to finesse you. Women know that men want to sleep with them. Women are not stupid. They know that when men approach them, they talk to them, they want to take them out on a date, that woman knows that that guy wants to smash. So what, so what do women do? They use they used up peace leave to make you pay and to make you invest too much time and energy and money when, they, when Shad and Tyrone is down the block and they don't have to pay for anything. And this is what pisses me off about men. Men need to play the game smarter. The best way to play the game is either to not play at all or to play it better than a woman. So if she's not willing to put out on that second date at least or that third date, get rid of her. Hit her, hit her with the, hey, you know, I, uh, this isn't working out. I think we should go out several ways. And I guarantee you, once you walk away from a woman, she's going to do two things. She's going to see that she can't manipulate you and she's going to she, she's gonna leave you alone or she's going to start to corroborate. But men don't do that. They just lash out $600, $250, $150 on a date. No woman is worth that. As Tom Likas used to always say, only spend $40 on a date. Zero is optimum. If you can be away with spending nothing, that's better. But $40 is the max that you want to spend on a woman on a date. Take out, get a two for 20. I don't give a fuck. But the fact of the matter is, stop taking women out on expensive dates. They are not deserving of that. They have used up peace leave. They have nothing else to offer besides used up peace leave that other men have for free. And she's making you pay because as the, the saying always goes, women break rules for alphas and women um, make rules for betas. Alpha seed, beta need. They're going to they gonna, um, they gonna want the alphas in their 20s and 30s. But once they can't get the alphas no more, then they're going to they they need the betas. We trying to turn the betas into alphas. So women can't go back to those guys in the future when they hit the wall. Stop taking these women out on $600 dates. They do not deserve that, fellas. Stop taking women out to expensive dates. Either y'all go out for coffee and a walk in the park on that first interaction, that first date. If she doesn't want to do that, get rid of her. You want a woman who's going to be corroborative in your life. That not a, not a liability. So as I said, this video might be a skit. Most likely is a skit. I have a feeling it's a skit because I've seen this girl a couple times. But this proves that this is actually happening. Even if this video is really a skit, 
This, this happens all the time with men. They get finessed by women. You either have to play the game better than women or you don't play the game at all. That's, that, those are the best ways you're going to win in, in, in this dating market. Stop taking women out to expensive dates. So that's all I want to talk about in today's video. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to click on that notification bell so you'll be alert for an upload a video. Stop simping, fellas. Stop simping, stop simping, stop simping. Stop being a gump. Stop taking women out to expensive dates. And I'll speak to y'all next time. Peace out.